your elementary counselor. You can call me Ms. G. Today, we're going to learn how to make your mind even more powerful by learning how to work well in groups. Groups can be hard sometimes, but first, let's do a mindfulness exercise. Mindfulness makes your mind stronger, like exercise makes your body stronger. Today, we're going to practice belly balloon breaths. So to do that, put one hand on your belly. Good. Now breathe in like you're blowing up a big balloon in your belly. And then breathe out and make that balloon small. Breathe in again, make that balloon big in your belly. And breathe out, make that balloon small. Last time, one more. Breathe in, make your belly big. And breathe out, make your belly small. Good. This can really help if you have really big feelings about something, or maybe you're frustrated, annoyed, angry. So when you do balloon belly breaths, you can even imagine blowing out a little bit of the feeling. Not all of it, but imagine blowing out a little bit more of the feeling each time. That can really help you calm down. So today we're gonna to talk about working in groups. A group can be your friends, your family, your classmates, or any other people. Sometimes we have to decide together what to do and how to do it. That's the kind of group we're gonna be talking about today. Like a group like this can be like at recess or a play date, like what to play and the rules you want to follow when you have to kind of decide together on something. Group skills are like superpowers. Here's some good ones like Listening to other people's ideas, that's a good group skill. Or sharing and taking turns, including everyone, and helping and encouraging one another. Those are all good group skills superpowers. Now, some things you can say when you're in a group are, what are your ideas? Would you like a turn? Do you need any help? Good job. Or, you almost did it, try again. Doesn't it feel good when other people say these things to you? It feels good when you say them to them also, so both people are getting a good feeling. Let's say them out loud or quietly in your head now and see if you get a good feeling. Try, say, good job. Would you like a turn? Say that silent in your head. See if you get a good feeling from that. Good. So pry, try practicing saying these things at home or with your friends or at school and see if you get good feelings when you say them. Put your thumbs up if you have an idea of when you can try these out. Good, nice. You can practice saying and doing these things later when we do the activity, when we decide on a, a group name and a cheer to go along with it. Sometimes working in a group can be easy and sometimes it can be hard in your life you will have to work in a lot of groups. Even when you're an adult, a lot of groups. Learning how to better work in a group will make you stronger and happier. That's because you'll have less problems and more people will want you to be in their groups. That just always feels good. The hard parts about working in a group are not getting your way, having a hard time speaking up about something you want, and other people being distracting by being too silly when your group is trying to get something done. The last, will be discussed, the last one will be discussed in another video. What to do when you don't get your way in a group. In most groups, people will likely have different ideas. Deciding on one idea might mean that your idea wasn't chosen. This can feel bad. And it doesn't only feel bad for kids, it feels bad for grown-ups too. Remember, this can feel super, super bad, and sometimes maybe only medium or small bad. Put your finger on your chin. If you can remember a time when you did not get your way and it felt bad, right? I can think of a way. Sometimes how bad we feel about not getting our way depends on who is in the group and if what is being decided is super important to us or not. It takes practice to learn how to not get your way and still feel good about being in the group. If not getting your way is super hard for you, practice this skill a lot. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. And I know you can do it. You can do hard things. 
something you can do to take care of your hurt or mad feelings about not getting your way is to take deep belly breaths and imagine blowing out some of the feeling each time you breathe out. That can help. Let's try that now. Imagine you're angry or sad about not getting your way and your feelings are hurt. Take a deep belly breath in and blow out some of the angry or sad feelings. Good. Do that a few times. This won't make it all go away, but it can make it a bit smaller so you don't do or say things that make people not want to work with you so much. It's a good skill. Something else you can do is to use calming self-talk. Self-talk is how you talk to yourself silently inside your head. You can try saying, it's okay that I didn't get my way. Maybe I'll get my way next time. Or it's better to have friends than get my way this time. Or it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Or something like that. What you say to yourself in your head makes a big difference. Another thing you can do when you don't get your way is make a deal. You can say to your group members, I really wanted my group name to be chosen. Is it okay if we use a part of my cheer? Or you could say, I really wanted to play basketball this recess. Can we play it next time? Can you think of some deals you could make? Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. It's worth a try, you never know. You can also talk it out when you don't get your way and let people know how you feel in a nice way. You could say, I'm really sad my idea did not get chosen or my feelings are a bit hurt. I just need a moment. Sometimes this helps and sometimes it doesn't. Again, it's good to try. Can you think of a way you might wanna talk something out? Remember to talk it out as kindly as you can. Definitely cool down with deep belly breaths or calm self-talk before you make a deal or talk it out. It's always best to cool down first. Our brain works best when it's cooled down. What to do if you have a hard time speaking up in a group? Sometimes we don't say what we want in a group because we're afraid other people won't like our idea or maybe we just have a hard time speaking up. This can make us feel bad about being in the group because it can feel like we don't matter or we aren't important. It's good to learn how to speak up in a group. This can take practice. It took me a lot of practice. That was hard for me, still is a little bit. So practice in small ways first, maybe with close friends or your caregivers, like your parents, grandparents, aunt, uncle. I bet they'll want to help you. The stronger you get at speaking up, even if your ideas don't get chosen, the better you'll feel about yourself and the stronger you will feel. If it's easy for you to speak up, help some of the quieter group members to speak up by asking them for their ideas. This will make everyone in the group feel better and it also makes you feel better to do something nice like that. So the things you can do to work better in a group are Listen to other people's ideas, share and take turns, include everyone, help one another, and say encouraging things. Some things you can say to do this are, what are your ideas? Let's take turns. Would you like a turn? Good job, you almost did it, try again. Put your thumb up if it feels good when other people say and do these things for you, right? It's an easy way to make other people feel good and it makes us feel good too. Try practicing these at home, in class, or with your friends. And remember, if it is hard for you to practice these things, you know, practice not to, um, if it's hard for you not to get your way or speak up, practice these things. The more you practice, the stronger you'll become. All these things will make your mind stronger and you happier because you'll have less problems working with people and more fun. I know you can do it. You can do hard things. And the following activity, which we'll be doing next about a group name and a cheer will make your mind even stronger. So practice those things. Practice not getting your way. Practice including everyone. Um, practice speaking up, saying good things. That's just gonna make 
your mind stronger and stronger. So you can go on to the next video for a video description of the lesson, or you can go to the Google Slides and see the written out instructions. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's gonna make you stronger. And remember, you can do it, keep practicing.